we're given uh, a formula for the nth partial, uh, nth partial sum of a series. And we're asked to first figure out what, um, figure out a formula to give us the terms of the series, and then to figure out whether the series converges or diverges. So the partial sum that we're given, or the formula for the partial, nth partial sum is given by 2 plus n over e to the n. And we'll know that um, first per partial sum is just equal to the first term. Second partial sum is equal to b1 plus b2. Uh, third is, of course, this is just the sum of the first three. So it's not too hard to see that, well, this means that b2 is equal to s2 minus b1, which is the same as the second partial sum minus the first partial sum. And of course here we have S3 uh, is equal to, uh, this implies that, excuse me, B3 is equal to S3 minus B1 plus B2, which is just third partial sum minus the second partial sum. So in general, um, the kth partial sum is equal to, um, or, right, the nth excuse me, b sub n, so the nth term of the series, is equal to the nth partial sum minus the n minus 1 partial sum. This makes sense because here we're adding up the first n things and then we're subtracting off the first n minus 1, so that all we're going to have left with is the nth term. All right, so know that uh, b sub k, so now we're writing this in terms of k, is equal to s sub k minus S sub k minus 1. So the first thing we probably want to notice is that if we let um, uh, f of n, uh, let's write in terms of k maybe, f of k equal uh, sk, then bk is equal to um, delta f of k. So really this is a telescoping sum of sorts. And we know that um, if this is, since bk can be described by um, such a function, then uh, the, the um, series here, sum from k equals 1 to infinity of b sub k, uh, converges if and only if uh, the limit as n goes to infinity of f of n converges. So let's look at this instead. So this is the limit as n goes to infinity of, let's see, f of n is equal to just s of n, so of 2 plus, the limit of 2 plus uh, n over e to the n. And this is equal to, well, apply linearity, so we just have 2 plus limit as n goes to infinity of n over e to the n. Here we see that the numerator goes to infinity, the denominator goes to infinity, so we can apply L'Hopital's rule, and we get 2 plus uh, the limit as n goes to infinity. Now the derivative of the numerator with respect to n is 1, and the derivative of the denominator is just still e to the n. So now we see that as the denominator is getting larger and larger, um, this limit is just going to go, or the, this fraction is just going to go to 0. So we have this is equal to 2 plus 0, or just 2. So the other part of the theorem that says that um, the sequence converges if and only if the limit of f of, as n goes to infinity of f of n um, is finite. It also says that it converges uh, to a specific number and says, well, k equals, so k equals 1 to infinity is equal to uh, b sub k is equal to uh, that limit, so limit as uh, n goes to infinity, I'm going to rewrite the series in terms of n now, as n goes to infinity of 
f of n minus um, f of the um, first term that we sum over, so, or the first index, so 1 minus 1, so f of 0. Or this isn't quite true, is there's one, one little thing that we have to watch out for. And that's that this is only good if k is equal to, or if k is greater than or equal to 2. So if we let, uh, look at b sub 1, well, then we get s sub 1 minus s sub 0, but the 0th partial sum doesn't really make sense. It's not defined. But we can get around this by writing um, this series as, um, b sub 1 plus the sum from k equals 2 to infinity uh, b sub k and now this is equal to b sub 1 plus limit as n goes to infinity of f of n minus, now we want to do the smallest index, minus 1, so 2 minus 1, minus f of 1. Um, or hang on. So we know we would need to go up to 3 here. So b sub 1 plus b sub 2, so we pull out the b2. And then we have 3 minus 2, so we want f of 2. That's because, as I mentioned before, this is only valid for k greater than or equal to 2. So now we can figure out what this is. This is b1 plus b2. Um, plus the limit as n goes to infinity of f of n. Well, we know that that's equal to 2, so plus 2, uh, minus f of 2. So f of 2 is equal to, well, let's just write f of 2 for now. And continuing that line over here, this is equal to, well, b sub 1 is just equal to s sub 1, b sub 2, um, that was equal to, let's say, s sub 2 minus s sub 1 plus 2 and minus f of 2. So f of 2 is equal to s of 1 minus, uh, say, no, sorry, s sub 2 minus s sub 1. So here the s of 1's cancel out, and we end up with s sub 2 plus 2 minus s sub 2. So these cancel out, uh, plus s sub 1. So s sub 1 now is equal to, or we have 2, plus s sub 1, which is equal to 2 plus uh, 1 over e to the first power, so 1 over e. And now this is equal to 4 plus 1 over e. So 4 plus 1 over e is um, uh, the number that, uh, which the series, um, series whose partial sums are given by 2 plus n over e to the n uh, actually converges to.